Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. In today's video, we will be taking a look at this hunk of steel. This hunk of steel is from SMKW, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and it is this particular blade right here. This Railroad Spike Bayonet, 1999, 12, foot, 12 inches long. Very, 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 very interesting little thing here. Is it sharp? No. We'll get into why. Don't worry about it. This is really just a jumbo letter opener, and it comes with this nice leather sheath. The leather's a little thin, but it's, it's quite sturdy. It's double stitched. This thing is for stock sheaths that you get with a knife. This is quite nice, actually. Like, this is well done for 20 bucks. The overall knife here, we have a blade that's about seven inches long, handle about five with about four to five inches of finger grip. I have the skinny fingers, as most of you know. If you got ham hands, those will fit snugly right in there. And the blade is not sharp. Now, if I was to yoink this out really fast, I would probably cut myself, but I can grab this and wave it around and not cut myself. This thing comes dull, and I will explain why. This is made from an actual railroad spike. This is forged from actual railroad spike material. And as you metallurgists out there know, or if you didn't know, you should know, that railroad spikes have like 40 points of carbon, and you need about 60 minimum to make a good solid edge that will stick around for a while. And so with this one having 40 points of carbon, this is more iron than it is steel. This is a shiv, not a slicer. You can poke stuff and it'll probably hold up quite well to poking, but it will not uh, be a very good slicer at all. This is more of a novelty thing that you can stick on the wall or stick in a stump somewhere, decorative, you know, big fancy letter opener, open up those Amazon boxes, have some fun. But you could get this sharp, you could get it razor sharp. But this is the prime example of it will not hold an edge. After you cut one thing, it's just not going to cut. Like, I stabbed an aluminum pop can, and we have scratches up here from where I stabbed it. Wouldn't happen on a normal knife. I'm going to have to oil this up after touching it so much, because also, these suckers rust. Have you ever seen a shiny railroad spike? No, you have not. They're always rusty. There's a reason why. But, uh... The, I like uh, this. The weight is good on this for, for what it is. This is actually quite nice. The center of balance is well into the handle here about where your finger would sit. Very nice. Very nimble blade. I would take this camping. Not as a bushcraft knife, but as a self-defense dagger. Just poke and twist. Not slicing. Now, if I swung, you know, a normal swipe... I could probably cut skin. You know, this is sharp enough for that. And especially if you keep the tip sharp, you get those good slicing things. But this is not going to chop or really slice too well. But you can you can cut. But I just love the twist here. It came out nice. You know, each one is going to vary a little bit. You cannot make this exactly the same. You're not going to have the twistings and dents and stuff that you're going to have on this one on every knife. So, for 20 bucks, is this something, excuse me, worth getting? I think so. This is actually quite nice. I am enjoying this. And I'll show you my little bit of a routine here to keep the blade shiny, because I've only had this for a little while, a little over a week now. And I take a piece of leather, mostly because I get the shiny side and the not-so-shiny side. I take three-in-one standard oil here. This isn't, this isn't a fancy edition of 3-in-1. This is what I use on some of my knives that I do wish to keep shiny. Although I do not usually do this to my knives because I want to see how much they rust. But I don't want this one just getting too rusty too quick. So we'll, we'll keep it oiled up. I take the shiny side, slather the oil on, get it going over here, pick up a little bit more from the other side, get it going, keep it, keep it oiled. I don't care if the handle gets rusty too much. 
And when you get this, it comes in a plastic bag, in a long tube bag, and it's just filled with oil. I, <laughs> you're going to have to wipe this down before you even handle it because it's so slick and slippery. But I just use a little bit of three in one and a strip of leather or cloth, preferably leather because the cloth kind of absorbs the oil before it gets to the blade. I kind of want to rub the oil into the blade. So, um, try to keep this nice and clean. Also, if your knife is prone to rusting, if it's a high carbon, low stainless, um, do not store it inside a leather sheath all the time because that leather holds the moisture well and will just keep permeating that moisture into the blade causing the rust. You're better off to keep this out in the open, exposed and coated in oil rather than just leaving it inside a moisture packet. Now, um, one thing you do is take a silica pack that comes in most shoe boxes and some of these other products that you get. Take one of those and put those in the box with the knife if you're going to keep it in a box. And that should, you know, moderate the moisture, keeping the knife clean here. Do I call this a knife? I don't really call it a knife because it's not sharp enough to be a knife. This is a knife-like object. This is a spearhead with a railroad handle. You can bash, you can poke, you can even slice a little bit, but you cannot really cut. So, rambled on a little bit there. This is kind of a short video. Consider getting one. Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Railroad Spike Bayonet. There's a couple other editions as you saw. I, I personally like this. This kind of has like a mix of the modern nice you know railroad side but this is also kind of just like a good old uh gaelic dagger it, it kind of has like a medieval vibe to me more than a bayonet so with that said i hope you found this video useful and informational i hope it helps you build your edc to your standards and if you'd like to see extra content consider following me on instagram at jspr underscore edc jspr edc look me up follow me check out some of my stuff. I don't post a lot of unique content there, but I do post uh, pictures and stuff sometimes of new knives, sometimes a week or so before they become a video that you'll see. So it's kind of a heads up of what's to come. So book around there if you want, say hi, comment, ask questions. I'll answer things as best I can. And thank you for watching. Farewell, carry well, and a bye-bye.